And so we're going to carry on to item 6.8, our 9.09 a.m. item, presentation of proclamation designating the month of October 2024 as Domestic Violence Awareness Month in Lake County. And for those that serve, uh, those that are experiencing domestic violence or have experienced it, please come on up. That's right, rise yourself up, yes. Rise up. You can even move, move in front of Michael Green, it's perfect. Come on, fun. let's do it, yeah. Yeah, put that tall guy in the back, forget that guy. Come on, it's all good. We'll hang out. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Number one, I appreciate so many people here on the dais. That's the level of support we have in this community for those that are victimized by domestic violence. Uh, this one's always hard for me because the ones closest to us should not be the ones that we fear. Those are the ones that we should trust the most and, and, and feel the true love that comes from them. But it is unfortunate how much occurs uh, between partners, between families. Um, those are the ones that we should not be thinking that comes from, but uh, th this obviously states otherwise, and hence the services that we have. Board of Supervisors, County of Lake, State of California, proclamation designating the month of October 2024 as Domestic Violence Awareness Month in Lake County. Whereas, domestic violence impacts women, children, and men of all racial, cultural, and economic backgrounds. And whereas, emotional and physical scars resulting from domestic violence are often severe and long-lasting. And whereas, in the past 12 months, Lake County law enforcement responding to, responded to over 480 incidents of domestic violence, including men, women, and children. In the past 12 months, the Victim Witness Division of the District Attorney's Office has served 407 victims of domestic violence, and the District Attorney's Office has prosecuted 243 felonies and misdemeanor acts of domestic violence. Lake Family Resource Center responded to 935 crisis line calls, served victims, and sheltered 127 domestic violence victims and their children for a total of 4,429 bed nights. Whereas it is crucially important to hold perpetrators responsible for assault and to prevent domestic violence at every opportunity. And whereas family violence is a community problem, Stopping the cycle requires not only the strength and courage of survivors, but also the support and involvement of all members of the community. And whereas many organizations such as the District Attorney's Office, Sheriff's Office, Lakeport Police Department, Clear Lake Police Department, and Lake Family Resource Center are committed to ending domestic violence in Lake County and provide essential crisis intervention and prevention services to all members of our community. Now, therefore, be it proclaimed that the month of October 2024 is designated as Domestic Violence Awareness Month in the County of Lake, and our community is urged to support the efforts of the agencies assisting victims of domestic violence and to increase their involvement in efforts to prevent domestic violence, thereby strengthening our community and creating an environment which honors, nurtures, and protects all members of every family. Pass and adopted this eighth day of October 2024, and side by us as supervisors. Thank you. Good morning, my name is Kayla Vogus. I am the Domestic Violence Program Coordinator with Lake Family Resource Center. I first just want to thank the Board of Supervisors for the recognition as well as thank our partners for continue, continuing to work with us um, on this issue and to the community for supporting us. And I also wanted to share that this year's theme from the Domestic Violence Awareness Project is Heal, Hold, and Center. 
to embrace the many cultural ways we can heal from violence and oppression, commit to holding space for survivors, and center those most marginalized in all of our efforts to end domestic violence. This is an intentional pause and moment of recognition and togetherness for advocates and survivors across the country. Thank you. Anyone else wish to speak? <laughs> oh, okay. My name is Tatsuhiro Suzuki. I am the program administrator for the Victim Witness Division, Lake County District Attorney's Office. First of all, I'd like to thank the board for this proclamation for this month designating uh, Domestic Violence Awareness Month. I stand here um, looking at all of the faces that stand behind me. Um, we all stand in unity to bring awareness to domestic violence. Um, the, unfortunately, domestic violence does happen every day, even in our community, multiple times. Um, and everyone here, all of these agencies behind, behind me, um, along with law enforcement, are all here to bring awareness. So if you are a victim of domestic violence, please reach out to us. We work here, everyone here behind me works here tirelessly, um, providing services and, and bringing awareness. So thank you. Last chance. I want to pass it out over to the board. This is such a difficult, um, it's a difficult reality for so many people and it's, it's hard to come forward. And knowing that, you ha that, that the folks in our community have you as allies makes that just a little bit easier. And you make that journey that they have to take a little bit um, gentler. So thank you for all that you do. Thank you for showing up. It's really important for everyone in our community. Thank you. So I'll end it with one thing, and I might get in trouble. I got to look around. Uh, hurt, hurt people hurt people. If, if you are dealing with issues, please seek out the services so that it doesn't end up hurting someone else because you're not able to take care of the problems that you have within. Uh, that doesn't mean that's the only case and the only scenarios, but please, we have a lot of services throughout this community that can help you find the help you need so that you can help yourself and you can help your families as well. Roger Sabatier, I think that... Yeah, I'm sorry. Oh, you're, you're hiding. I'm not hiding. I have a small yeah, no, army blocking me out here. <laughs> I, I just wanted to highlight that in addition to this small army, uh, uh, domestic violence has such large ripple effects. I do want to do a shout out to social services and child welfare services, Lake County Office of Education, everyone that kind of deals indirectly. This is definitely the frontline uh, response group here, but so many people in our community also have to deal with domestic violence and its uh, impacts indirectly. And it creates a great burden on, on those people as well. So I want to acknowledge them. And then um, from a policy standpoint, you know, there's no excuse for it, but we definitely understand um, through their work and through work of other agencies that uh, culture plays a part of it, lived experience plays a big part of it, but also poverty and uh, substance use and, and abuse uh, play huge parts in this. So one thing we can all do is not only acknowledge their hard work today, but as uh, policymakers and board people, we have to continue to really reinvigorate Lake County as a prosperous place so that we give people jobs and opportunities to better themselves, and um, if, if, they're, if they have an opportunity to, to work and be productive members, then that takes away a lot of the pressures that do lead to domestic violence. So I, wanna, I want you to all to take a look. This is just a fraction of the response that the county has to put in each and every year, and uh, I do see Supervisor-elect Rasmussen here, and I know through his work with Lakeport Police, he's very keenly aware of all the issues you're dealing with, and so I just want to do a shout out to him, because I know he's going to be a great ally for you in the in the four coming years. Thank you. Just want to thank you all for your work. Thank you for coming here. Um, I know you work to catch this situation on the cycles that take place because oftentimes uh, the couples get back together regardless of uh, what's taking place. So it's always important to be ready for that cycle. Um, I mean, if you look back in uh, the media or movies and things, you go back to the 70s. I won't say the 80s, but I, they might be. But if you look back, you see it, it just in the um, actual social atmosphere of those time frames. 
And so um, it, it's starting, it's getting better, and uh, it's with work like yours that uh, makes it get better. So thank you. Thank you very much for your comments. I'd like to just clarify one quick point um, that Supervisor Green made. Um, domestic violence has no economics attached to it. It doesn't matter how much money you make, how much money you don't make. Um, poverty does not lead to do domestic violence. So I just wanted to clarify that. Here we go. Chair Sabatier, if you wouldn't mind opening it for public input. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I just wanted to say, express my gratitude. There was an episode or a chapter in my life about 10 years ago where I was left feeling small and powerless and vulnerable. And I will always be grateful for the support and the strength of Lake Family Resource Center people victim witness, the district attorney's office, and Lakeport police came alongside and helped me get through that situation. And without that strength derived from your group and your effort and your passion, I probably wouldn't be where I am now. So I say thank you, not just for me, but for the thousands of people who are walking around in Lake County right now feeling the exact same appreciation, but aren't here because they're actually living their lives, which you help them to do. Thank you. Anyone else have a public comment to make? I can't see Zoom. No hands in Zoom. All right.